Here is everything new in iOS 17, Developer Beta 3. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and Apple has released the third developer beta of iOS 17. I'm gonna walk you through everything new in this beta update and I'm gonna tell you when you can expect to see the new public beta of iOS 17 and how you can get it. Let's go ahead, dive into the changes first. The first new thing here in iOS 17, developer beta three is in Apple Music. Apple now allows you to view credits for nearly any song inside of Apple Music. Here you can see we have the performing artist, uh, composition and lyrics, production and engineering, uh, audio quality is available, all this information. You can jump into lyrics if you'd like to, but tons of information and full credits available for all of these songs in Apple Music. The next big update in Developer Beta 3 is for the Home app. One of iOS 17's promised features is here. We now have activity history inside of the Home app. When launching the Home app, we have a new splash screen that appears. Apple's touting these new features with iOS 17, including updated accessory control widgets that can be controlled from your home screen, new look and feel for certain controls like thermostats, and activity history. That's that last one that I want to talk about in a little bit more detail. See, activity history allows users in the home to view activity history for devices. So if you go into that little ellipsis in home settings and the safety and security, we can turn activity history on. It'll show this for one month's worth of history and lets you know that everyone in the household has access to that information. Now if I go to something like locks, I wanna lock this lock here, it'll show up in home activity. We can tap on home activity, it'll show me today at 2.22, Andrew O'Hara unlocked that lock. I locked it again right now at 317 and locked it earlier at 219. So that's activity history here in the home app, which was not available in the first two betas. Speaking of the home app, if we go into control center, there's new UI for adjusting lights. Hasn't been changed all that much, but there is a new UI here inside a control center for home accessories. Inside of the weather application, if we scroll down and look at air quality, this has been updated, this little card. Here is what it looked like before. So Apple has increased the uh, text for the number, for the title, has moved the bar into the middle, and the text is now below the bar. So this is the old version here. This is developer beta 2 in my right hand, and then my left iPhone, that is the current new developer beta 3. How Apple has changed the air quality card in side of the weather app. In the photos app, when I go to recover a photo, there's this new UI here down at the bottom. It looks a lot cleaner than what it looked like before. There was just this large on-screen modal. Now it's more of a little pop-up instead. I really like how it looks now compared to what it looked like before. Finally, when you go to send a message and you tap on that little plus button, the photos icon will now actually show a tiny little glyph of your last photo that you took. So that there matches, when I pull this up, that photo. So they've essentially matched the icon to the most recent photo in your camera roll. Apple's also fixed a big bug in the third developer beta of iOS 17. Previously with the first two versions of iOS 17, Apple would overblow the HDR video in Safari and it looked ridiculous. That has been fixed and HDR video looks better than ever in Safari with the latest beta. But what about the public beta of iOS 17? When will Apple release it and how do you get it to try it for yourself? Well, I'm gonna answer that for you. Based on Apple's prior history of iOS 16, iOS 15 betas, I think the first public beta of iOS 17 will arrive on Monday, July 10th. Apple has a history of releasing the third developer beta here at the beginning of July. Then the week next, the next week after that, Apple would release the first public beta of the operating system. So I think that's what we'll see here. It's Wednesday right now. We have the third developer beta. There's a chance it could arrive at the end of this week, Thursday or Friday, but I think most likely it's gonna arrive on Monday, July 10th. So expect that if you are holding out for the public beta of iOS 17. How do you get the public beta when it arrives? Super easy to do. Head to beta.apple.com and enter in your Apple ID. Then you'll be part of Apple's public beta program and you can opt in to these public beta updates. Then you can just head to the settings on your phone, enable public beta updates, and when they become available, you can download them to your device. 
super seamless, easy to do, no developer account required, and public betas are usually more stable. They'll include the same features and changes as the developer betas, but Apple will release them a day or so um, after the developer betas. That way it makes sure that there's no massive bugs in them. Developers take the bigger risks versus the public beta testers. So that's it. If you spot any other changes in iOS 17, let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And keep your eyes peeled to Apple Insider because I have a lot more coverage of iOS 17 and Apple's other software updates coming your way.